think someone played it out to Mike off a corner kick, and I was actually jogging over to take the corner. And then I saw it go out, and I just kind of slipped along the end line, and I think it was Mike who made a good pass and took a few touches and, and shot and scored. <laughs> Is this the kind of game you guys needed to win playing against a team with 10 men? Yeah. Have all the possession? Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, it's really frustrating. It sucks. Um, feels like a loss. Um, we should have scored about four goals in the second half. Um, so I think we all just need to figure out how, what we can do better to, to not fall behind in the game because I think that was the key. I think we started getting into the game. And right when we started getting into the game, up a man, we gave up the goal, which kind of killed us going into halftime. Individually, I know it's hard to talk about performance mm. after uh, draws and yeah. points at home. But that winning rookie of the year or anything like that crossed your mind at all? So far this year? No. Um, I think when you're on a team like this that has two wins all year, you're focusing every day on trying to go in and, and get a win and how you can how can can you get better. And I think, you know, I'd rather not score a goal all year and be on a winning team than than score however many goals I score and, and be on a losing team. So for me, it, that's not really on my mind. What does it say to the team when Frank makes a sub, putting in another forward for a defender and this late in the game go for the win? Yeah, I think, I mean, like I said, we had the ball pretty much the entire second half. Um, being up a man obviously helps that. I think, you know, we can't afford to tie it home. We came into this game knowing that we needed to win. Um, we kind of kind of build it as a game to turn our season around and get a win, which hopefully gives us momentum going into the second half of the year, and it didn't happen, so we got to look towards Kansas City on Sunday.